Now, shares of Jimmy Choo saw to a record high today after the company put itself up for sale. The shares rose by more than 10% after the high-end shoe and accessory maker said it was conducting a review of strategic options to maximise shareholder value, including the possibility of a sale. The group, which was founded 21 years ago, is now 68% owned by the private equity firm JAB Luxury. We're here to tell me more about this. this is Andrea Felstead, columnist at Gadfly. So, Andrea, who are JAB and why do they want to sell? They're a big European um, consumer investment group. They made money from Rickett Ben Kaiser and have since moved into luxury. But more recently, they've been interested in coffee and donuts and um, just recently agreed to buy Panera Bread in the States. So, they really want to diversify out of luxury and concentrate more on those consumer holdings. Do they think luxury is just too cyclical for its own good? There's not so many synergies. They've built quite a big portfolio now of consumer coffee bakery, that sort of thing. The yeah, Darren Burtz was one of those. That's there, right, yeah. yes. And there's not much, many synergies between that and um, stiletto shoes. Right. <laughs> so who's, who are the likely buyers for this steak? I mean, are they likely... And is any buyer going to buy the steak or the whole kit caboodle? Well, it's put itself up for sale. I mean, I think the, the free float was pretty small anyway. Um, but who's going to buy it is a really interesting one because there's been lots of talk about consolidation in the luxury sector. We haven't seen that much of it yet. The Big groups, LVMH, Kering, they're really interested in other areas. Kering's actually been selling some of its shoe brands. You've got Coach in the States. They're interested in Kate Spade. So they are one that, that could do it. I think more likely it will be another financial buyer. And Jimmy Choo's been owned by private equity before. Mm. So that's probably the more likely that route. Maybe maybe an overseas um, financial investor. Well, I'm pre presumably the fact that Sterling's fallen off so much since June last year will presumably help any buyer from overseas? It will, although it also makes the timing of the sale quite opportunistic because Jimmy Choo hasn't had the easiest of time since it's floated, but since Sterling devalued and lots of people want to come to the UK and buy luxury brands, it, it's been helped in that respect. Yeah, I was going to ask you, has it been trading lately? It had very good results um, a few months ago, so you can see why they want to want to sell now and the share price which did suffer has now moved above the float price so it's a good time luxury valuations across the board are pretty full thanks to china recovering hopes that tax cuts will boost the u.s market so if you're a seller it's probably a pretty good time yeah, unless you're a shareholder in burberry that hasn't had <laughs> exactly really, yeah. no but i mean is is that a danger then for any buyer if they're coming in i mean you say valuations are looking pretty stretched right now i mean how much would a buyer have to pay for this business about a billion pounds so it's very easily digestible for one of the big european conglomerates but it's whether one of those is interested. The idea is that you would, obviously, you'd, you'd pay up now, but you'd really move, you'd try to move. It's very focused on shoes. And the idea is you'd try to extend it into adjacent categories, maybe leisure wear or fashion, and that's how you would try and generate your return. How have they done that, that move into accessories? It's done OK. They've just moved into men's. Um, but the core of the chain really is ladies' shoes. And so anybody has to diversify into other areas. And that's a lot of work for one of the big European luxury groups. That's a lot of work for probably not, not, not that much return where you could be deploying your capital in perhaps some of your other brands with better growth prospects.